Repairing a labial tear. Labial tears usually heal well on their own. Some, however, will heal better if repaired. This video will show which labial tears should be stitched and the basic steps of repairing a labial tear. Use your best judgment. Consider repairing a tear if there is a large gash, a defect, if it's bleeding heavily, or if there are large tears on both sides that may fuse together as they heal. If a labial tear is not bleeding, is shallow, and there is no risk of it attaching to a tear on the opposite side, then it does not need to be stitched. Let the woman know that the tear may sting when she urinates, but that usually goes away after a couple of days. She can ease the stinging by pouring warm water over her genitals while urinating. This woman did not tear her perineum, but has large tears on both labia. Repairing the tears will prevent them from adhering to the torn tissue on the opposite side. The labia are very sensitive, so it's important to numb the tissue. But use as little local anesthetic as possible, as the tissue can get quite swollen. It may work well to spray lidocaine on the wound. Another good way to numb the labial area is to inject little doses of local anesthetic along the side of the tear. Use the thinnest needle available to suture labial tears. Insert a catheter when repairing tears near the urethra so you don't accidentally stitch it closed. Now repair each tear. Start at the top of the tear with an anchor stitch. Take a shallow bite and include a little of the underlying tissue as you bring the edges together. Then make a four layer knot. As your helper holds the tissue open, continue with a running stitch. Be aware the tissue is delicate and there are nerves in the area. Take shallow bites to unite the edges and again include a little of the underlying tissue. Place a knot at the end. Now, after placing an anchor stitch, suture the other side. Again, use shallow stitches. The sutures placed so close to the urethra emphasize the need for the catheter.
No, place your final knot. Then remove the catheter and inspect your work to see if the labia are put back together well and there is no bleeding. Remember, suture large labial tears that may fuse together. Insert a catheter when repairing near the urethra. Injecting small doses of local anesthetic is a good way to numb the labial tears.